moving on to tier 13 let's check out um, how slow bots are gonna be this time around we got speed snap at Melbourne is it gonna be under 100 kph for target no not really 140s and at the bottom that was 120 something so there's still room to go down is what I'm seeing so this of course this speed snap would be definitely a better um, option for bot training if you have an option to do or if you find a need for one so I think I got over 142 yep 143.08 but uh, yeah that's a pretty slow speed isn't it yeah so the speed range is from 142.49 all the way down to 129.02 so I will take that as uh, plenty of room for slowing down bots even further and uh, up next we got a autocross so let's see if the target time on the autocross seems as slow it's gonna be at spa so I don't know 30 plus seconds here what do we got 41 seconds that is a long time with this car so yeah the bots are definitely I would say sufficiently slowed down though I'm not sure if I would be able to break the speed record at Daytona without servicing the car because some of these even when you slow down the bots um, if you're in red you're just not going to be able to do it like the uh, same scenario with Mount Panorama um, you have to service your car basically because bots are going to slow down only so much anyway just under 41 seconds here keeping that margin of victory very very close all right so that's two down and we got a cup race at uh, at Monza right to wrap up this stage or tier 13 two lapper so here we go it's going to be just a regular standing start some NSX is up in the front of the grid and we're off in the grid which is not the largest grid all right through the first chicken coming out in fifth place but most likely yeah not gonna be able to maintain that uh, because in any straight even with the bot training 
they're not gonna slow down for you. It's when it really counts is when we head into these corners, they, of course, slow down way too much. Which is our window to overtake. Just like this. There we go. And then we just need to make sure we don't get uh, pitted or spun around while maintaining the lead position here. to get wider, but where's the fun in that, right? Whoa. Oh, that, uh, boy, I guess I am very slow, ain't I? That's all right. Should be able to get back into the lead position without too much struggle. So as long as there are corners. in the pocket. Just to be safe, I'll try to maintain a little bit wider distance. Did I get it? <laughs> yes! Oh boy, that guy snuck up on me very quickly towards that last minute there. But playing that blockade just on the money there to claim that first place. All right, so. That should keep those spots pretty slow through the next tier here, I hope. So we'll find out in the endurance because head to head we you know cannot really we can kinda tell but really can't because head to head is rarely a struggle. <laughs> but endurance if we get closer to that 1.7 kilometer distance, we would know for sure. So we'll see you in the next tier.